Morning, folks. Brian here, Geobank Earth Earthwatch. Sunday, August 31st, 2025. This is a space weather report. We have some incoming space weather. Geomagnetic storms, solar storms. Starting tomorrow, we're going to have a G2 moderate geomagnetic storm extending up until a G3 strong geomagnetic storm on the 3rd. These are always subject to change. Please remember, if they're going to forecast... Uh, a G3, for example, it's possible that could be a G4 severe geomagnetic storm. Possibly. We'll wait and see. This is uh, from a long duration M2.7 flare from the center disk. Region 4199. Long durations are very important. So this one started at the C range at approximately 1915 UTC and it finished at approximately five hours later. So again, center disk, this one right here. So first we're going to take a look at the NASA modeling, obviously a direct hit. So this is planet Earth. Let's take a look at uh, NOAA's modeling and timing. So again, these forecast models, it's a model. It's always plus or minus seven to six hours. This is why I do not like doing a forecast on the day side hit based on the initial modeling. Subject to change. Let's take a look at this one anyway. So daytime hit starting on the uh, 1st at 2100 UTC, winding down on the 2nd at around 1900 UTC. Correction, between 13 and 1500 UTC. Solar wind speeds carrying this thing, so it's going to slam into us hard. Solar wind speeds are going to be approximately 700 kilometers per second. So it's not like it's going to start off and build up. This is going to slam into us hard. Based on this timing, let's take a look. Now what we call the bow shock, which is the uh, sun facing side of the planet, is very important. So according to this timing, it's going to slam into us when it's in the Pacific Ocean, uh, a ways away from Hawaii. And it's going to continue this way. So let's uh, put in that time. The second. So the Earth will have rotated on the day side from the Pacific Ocean, heading uh, westerly over Guam, Philippines, Sumatra, bottom end Bay of Bengal, bottom end Arabian Sea, Africa, and so on, and finishing up here, unless the time. Now the uh, Earth's day side, sun facing side, called the bow shock, when we get hit with these geomagnetic storms, is very important. As it has been proven and demonstrated so many times here at the Brian Starr Observatory, some people say, oh, it doesn't matter which side. Well, yes, it does, and it's been proven. It's a fact. 
This is why I like to do a um, suggestion in which region we're going to experience this increase in seismic activity and volcanic activity, and it's been proven time and time again. We'll be patient. We will wait. Um, uh, one more thing. So NOAA, they use what's called the uh, three-hour data index. So they measure the irritability or the status of our magnetic field every three hours. However, I like using the GFZ 30-minute index, and it takes measurements every 30 minutes. So when we start seeing these bars increase into the orange, maybe even the red range, don't forget if they forecast a G3, a geomagnetic storm, it's possible it can go up to a G4 severe. So as it does, then I will refine the timing on the day side impact or the bow shock. So if you haven't heard of this one, One moment. Here's the link. I'm not going to bother putting it down. You can read it yourself. Okay, so uh, we don't need any boom shakalakas. Whoosh, bang, booms, bangs. Okay, just relax. As we get closer, we'll do an updated video. If you want to go to my YouTube channel playlist, Space Weather Biological Health Effects, I've done a number of detailed videos on how it's going to affect us. Perhaps I'll jump on a little bit later and do another reminder video because there's always so many new people. How space weather can affect us. Uh, so again, I went through, for example, uh, 2023. We had uh, 24 magnitude 7 and above earthquakes, great many more magnitude 6s. 75% of them happened within 72 hours following geomagnetic storms. This is, like a, this is why I like to be patient and wait until it actually hits us, and then I'll go through it, and I will make a suggestion, as I always do, where to expect an increase in uh, seismic activity and volcanic activity. Hawaii. Okay, see you later.